Ruga Huga Gardener. We have a hurricane coming through Florida right now. It's on the west coast and it's cutting across right over New Smyrna where I am. So I wanted to go ahead and give some before and after shots of my banana plants because the winds should be 50 to 75 miles an hour. Who knows what's going to happen. So this is a good example. I have a lot of freedom banana plants and they're on they're being held up with supports who knows if the wind's going to be too strong for them so with that said i'm just going to give a brief walk around until after the storm I'm filming this in the rain, as you can see. The rain just let up a little bit. It was downpouring, so I said, let me come out real quick. These are my sugar cane. They're coming in nicely. And over here and on that side of the pond, you can see I got more banana plants. Where you see all those braces, there's a lot of bananas. There's a few without braces. 50 to 75 mile an hour winds is going to be pretty hard on these plants. And I have a lot of uh, racks that are looking good right now. They still got a little ways to go. Okay, so that was a walk around over here, down around the back side. <clears throat> okay, over here. The calm before the storm. Okay, hey, so this is Sam, the Frugal Hugo Gardener. This is the calm before the storm. Got a hurricane on the west coast. It's heading on over to the east coast on a direct path over New Smyrna. So with that said, let's see how all my banana plants look after the storm. So this is the before shot. Okay, so I almost forgot. These are my blue javas.
Okay, and back over here are some other varieties. Going down the back, like Mizano and stuff like that, they're giving off fruit too. Okay, so I'm headed back in to stay high and dry. We'll see you soon. Okay, just miss it. There were some bass swimming down the road over here. He just went into that dark spot. The bass are from the uh, the lake overflowing. This is the lake overflowing right here. It's moving like a stream. Okay, this is my road right here, going past my house. You can see the road is flooded. That's the uh, Cone Lake is flooded. My neighbor's yard is totally full. The culverts are all the way to the top. You got bass swimming in the road. 
good size, I might add. Ants. The bass was a good size, no doubt. Okay, this is my property right over here. This is my neighbor's. I have a bunch of banana plants down. We have the lake overflowing from back there across the street over here. It's flowing into my yard by my pond over there, but not affecting the house. As you can see, I got banana plants down all over. I'll film those later. Right now, I'm just looking at all the damage. And for some trees that I need to go cut down. Here's my other neighbor, Carl, over here. He's all flooded from the pond out. His fence got knocked down. This is my neighbor Bob over here. He's all flooded up to his house, all the way down that way. This is Carl's yard, flood it down there. That's flooded all the way down to the next street. Well, I have to go get my waders. So let me shut off the video and see if I could turn. Okay, so I just got my waders and put them on. Now I'm driving back down the road and I'm gonna see if I could walk down and see if I could cut down those trees or cut them up that fell. We'll find out shortly. Maybe I'll be able to, maybe I won't. Okay, so I tried to wade down to those trees. It started coming down. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Can't chainsaw in this pouring rain. So I'm gonna turn around and go back. Okay, hey y'all. This is the morning after the hurricane. Tropical depression came in. A lot of damage, a lot of flooding. Let's get into it. My Mexican sunflowers, a lot of them uprooted. If I could get in here, you can see the roots. The roots uplift it right at the ground. This is what they all look like. Okay, it's raining right now. I just wanted to go ahead and, and do a, a tour of the damage. So what I'm gonna have to do with these is take out my chainsaw and cut them about two feet high, set them back in with the tractor, and they'll start growing again. As you can see over here, my pond is even with the ground because it overflowed. My banana plants over here, these are all my ice cream banana plants. They got hit hard. You can see the bananas down here. Hopefully... I'll be able to lift that up and save it, but probably not. They're too young to harvest. Okay, right over here. When a plant snaps like that, 
The only thing you could do is cut it all the way down and it will regrow. Here's a banana rack cracked over there. I'll try to set that back up, maybe save it, but probably not. The ones with the bananas on them, if they're if they're split, you cannot save them. You got to cut them, chop and drop them, and new ones will form. Okay, here's my PVC pipe holding up my banana rack. That's the only thing that saved it. Right over here is a big blossom. This one here. Split right down there at the root. So that's a, a blossom. That's a banana plant. I got to chop and drop it. There is no saving that. Okay, now coming down over here, here's a banana plant. Let me get up on in here. Now it just bent and it did not break. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that up with the PVC pipe. Give me a moment. Okay, so the reason why this plant bent over was the string I had on that snapped and then the plant tilted over so I got some new string and put it on so the banana plant is up right now temporary and down in here there's no split so I saved that plant okay so let me go around and show you the damage over here. Now excuse the video because we're going to get water on the lens. Okay, right over here is a beautiful banana rack right there. It's not fully developed. So I lost this plant because it snapped right there. So I'm going to have to chop and drop that one. Here's another banana plant with bananas on it. It did not snap. So I'm going to prop that one up right now before it tips all the way over. Okay, give me a moment. Okay, so right up in here... I put a PVC pipe. And I push that plant back up. You see it? That PVC pipe is holding it. Down at the bottom, I got lucky. It did not split. But I'm going to have to shore up a lot of those plants. Okay, right over here, this banana plant came down. You can see it split right there. So I'm going to have to chop and drop that. Now, going on over to this side, let's see what I can save or not. Okay, so the wind was coming towards me. And my banana plants that were being held up, they're doing good. The one that is not being held up right over here, that just split at the base. These other banana plants that I have being held up, they all held up with the fruit on them. So the braces work. See the rack here? Okay. I'm going to have to put, I'm going to have to go right through here and see what it looks like.
What a mess. Okay, so some of these bases I could save. Okay, I'm going to have to put the camera down and get in there and do a little work. Okay, I'll tell you what, before I get in there and uh, start doing some work, let me show you some other plants because I'm going to have to get in there and uh, prop up what I could. Okay, over here, my whole road is flooded. The culverts are all the way up. I'm wearing waders, as you can see. Now, right over here, I had this banana rack being held up. It's still being held up. I lost this praying hands right over here. There was nothing propping that one up. Okay, here's a rack. I had it propped up this way, but the wind blew it that way. Luckily, this one was saved, but look at all those. I got a lot of work to do in here. Okay, this one's saved. That one's saved. A lot of damage right over here. Maybe I could uplift that and trim it and save it. I don't know. Okay, so these banana plants were were they were coming this way and propped up but the wind blew them the opposite way they're almost out of the ground there's bananas on two plants there one rack over here one rack down there but i am going to try to lift those up Okay, right over here, this uh, this held up really well. Okay, this one right over here held up really well with the bamboo. The wind was coming this way and it was propped up. Okay, coming down on this side and walking around, you can see everything's pushing towards me, but right over here, my big rack, you can see the bamboo, the bamboo was holding it this way, so the wind could not blow it over. Same thing with this big rack, the wind was blowing this way, the bamboo held it up. Same thing with this rack. And too bad about this one here. I cannot save those and they're not fully developed. And then right down in over here, this rack was saved because the bamboo, the wind was coming towards me and the bamboo held it up. Okay, so this one, the bamboo shifted, and the bamboo's holding it up, but I'm going to go ahead and rearrange it with the bamboo on that side, and I may take a string down into an anchor in the ground on some rebar, but for right now, that's okay. Okay, hey, so you can see the damage. Um, these are all secured right now. We got more of a storm coming, but I'm going to prop up what I could there. It seems to me all the braces that were on this side holding up the plants, all those plants are good. The braces that were on this side, the, the hurricane force winds pushed the plant the opposite way. So if I had supports on both sides, they would have, they would have uh, stood up. So if I ever got to go through this again, I'm going to put bamboo on both sides and support them up both ways because I didn't know which way the wind was going to come through. 
So, anyway, I gotta get back here. I gotta get in there and somehow take care of that mess. Okay, so anyways, as you can see, the hurricane, tropical force of winds, heavy duty gusts, a lot of flooding, ground is saturated, took down some of my banana plants that were not supported, took down some of the banana plants that were supported on the wind side, but the opposite side that had the bamboo, those all stood up. So I'm gonna have to lift up and salvage which ones did not split at the base and they'll be saved. The ones that split the base, I gotta unfortunately machete them down. The fruit, if they're still square, they're not ripe enough to save. So that's gonna go in the ground for compost. I'll do another video once I prop everything all up after the storm passes, probably tomorrow. So anyway, hey, this is Sam, the Frugal Hugo Gardener. Surviving the Florida weather of a hurricane and tropical depression or a tropical storm that came through with tons and tons and tons of rain. The whole streets flooded, probably the whole town, trees down all over, houses flooded. At least my house is not flooded. I do have a generator going. Now we're going to go in the backyard right now and take a look at my blue java. I almost forgot those, so let's go look. Okay, so on my way to Blue Java, here's some more Mexican sunflower. They went ahead and uprooted. So I'm gonna have to cut those down with the chainsaw, lift up the roots, and they'll survive. All these Mexican sunflowers over here, you can see which way the wind was going by the direction that they're facing. It's like a river in here with me walking. Okay, all these Mexican sunflowers came this way. You can see all my banana plants leaning. Now down in here, these banana plants here, you can see they're leaning. They got fruit on them. I'm gonna go in there and assess the damage as well. But these are my blue javas right over here. Here's a blue java right there giving fruit. Luckily, this survived. I'm gonna have to prop it up. You can see the way the bud of the blue java has this on it right here. Real fancy, but you can see the blue java's up there. So I gotta prop that up. Now coming on down this way, Here's a blue java plant and some pups. You can see right down in here, the root split. So this plant here, what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna lift it up and see if it, if it survives. But right there's a blue java bud so more than likely that's not going to survive coming down here this blue job is leaning okay right over here we have a leaning blue java two leaning blue javas and we got a blue java coming out right there can you see that so, let's see what the base looks like. Okay, the base looks good. So I'm going to be able to prop that blue java up and get some fruit out of it. Whew. Right over here, same thing. Another blue java. This plant's looking good, no fruit, but they're standing up.
Okay, so you got the point. I got some work to do. I gotta, I gotta go ahead and try to get those propped up right now, so they don't go any more and snap. And maybe I can save my fruit. I'm hoping I can. I don't know about this one on the ground. It's probably gonna snap when I lift it up. I don't know. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at this blue java. You can see right here the way this female bud is at the ends. And you can see the the fruit right up there. That's what a genuine blue java looks like. So before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and try to support my blue javas. So anyway, hey, this is Sam, the Frugal Hugo Gardener. Just went through a hurricane, a tropical storm, a lot of rain, a lot of flooding, a lot of wind. Took down some of my banana plants. Maybe I could save some, maybe I can't, but I still got a lot more. So hey, if you like the video and you want to see more of them, give me a like, give me a share. Come on over to my Facebook page, come on over to my Facebook group, and we'll be back at you. Okay, so hey, this is Sam, the Frugal Hugo Gardener. I'm supporting my banana plants that fell down, that's got fruit on them. This one happens to be a blue java with a new bud. It snapped the roots, but it did not snap the plant. So I'm pushing it upright. I got my tractor over here. I removed one of the forks, and so now I just got one. And I lifted it up. Now I'm going to prop it up and support it. And I'm hoping that I could save this banana plant, but probably not because now that it's fruiting, it needs all of its roots. Let's just hope there's enough root on there to support the banana plant or to support the bananas. So let me get to work.